What's up guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to Monaco, sunny Monaco today and the Turbo S. I am in the Turbo S and we are just going for a gentle cruise around town um, and I figured why not do a q and It's been lit like so long since we've done one of these. So I was getting a few recurring questions in the comments on Instagram. So I popped on my Instagram, which is going to be on the screen right now if ever you don't follow me on Instagram and ask for you guys to fill in a few Q&A questions. I've been through uh, a fair few, I've actually answered a fair few on Instagram itself and then selected a few to put into this video, uh, which I thought may be of interest for you. I enjoy doing these Q&As, you know, I enjoy kind of communicating as much as possible with you guys and uh, I always think you have some pretty interesting questions that also sometimes help me answer questions I'm kind of asking myself, so yeah. Let's get right into it then. I'm gonna try and keep this not too long because often I can blab on for hours during these. First question, no surprise here. Have you sold your Scud? This is probably the most recurring question that I've had in the near months. We've got some spotters around. The answer is no, I have not sold the Scud yet. It is still available. Uh, I've been driving it around a little bit from time to time. I've had two offers on it and I'm in no rush kind of to sell it. So um, yeah, it's still up for sale. Didn't accept the offers and just driving it from time to time and whenever something good comes in, um, I'll let that car go, but I'm in no rush and I still love it and I'm selling it mainly because I'm not using it and I want it to be in better hands and when I feel like that is the case, then I'll let it go, but we haven't come across that just yet. So I still got the Scud, so there may be another video with it, who knows. Why do you not film with many classic cars? I'm not sure that's strictly true. I have filmed with a few classic cars recently. I filmed with uh, this, by the way, which the buildings you can see going on maybe through the front-facing cam is for the Monaco Yacht Show, which is coming up. The car, the, the classic cars I've been filming, I filmed the 512, a classic 911. We went around Switzerland in an old 911 from the 60s, Ford GT, AC Cobra. There's been a few classics on the channel recently. Now, a few reasons why. One, they're harder to get hold of than the moderns uh, often because lower production numbers and often they kind of sit in garages more than modern supercars. They can also be a little bit more tricky on filming days. So I've sometimes, you know, showed up to film a car and then it hasn't worked or had little issues. And um, the videos don't perform quite as well. So the videos often um, don't get as many comments. You guys seem to be less into it. So I'd rather give you guys content that you really enjoy and that seems to be more the modern cars. But if we want more classics, Absolutely. I mean, I have a huge thing for classics, really love them. Haven't gotten into them myself just because I don't really have the uh, time, knowledge or resources really to be maintaining a classic car all of the time. But I have an itch for old 911s and I hope to be able to properly scratch that one day. Hi, would you like to put a tech art kit on your Porsche? Thanks for your video. Absolute pleasure, first of all, for the videos. Thanks for your support. And yes, I spoke about this in the last video, I believe, which was a, a house video which, by the way, there is, I think the next video that's gonna come out is another housing video. I tried to split them up so it wasn't just houses. Um, but yeah, there's another house video arriving next, which is of this crazy, uh, I think it was $16 million house. Insane place. Anyways, that's coming soon. And in that video, I spoke about the fact that I have indeed ordered um, some tech up pieces for this 911 Turbo. So oh, we've got a spotter getting some content on the car. Yeah, so some tech up pieces. I haven't ordered a full kit just because I'm not really a fan of the full kit. Um, to me, it's a little bit too intense. So, I, you know, putting the whole kind of GT Street R on a car that I'm driving daily is a bit much for me. What I really enjoy, like with what we did with the exhaust, is having subtle changes. So I've ordered some pieces from Tech Up, which you'll see, which are subtle, but I think will really add character to this car and make it, for me, basically perfect. Yeah, I'm really excited. I don't want to give too much away because there's some really cool things coming and it's going to kind of change the character of the car. That should be arriving soon. I haven't had an exact date on when all of that will arrive, but within the next few weeks, I'm sure. One supercar that could arrive soon in your garage. It's hard to say. Uh, I'd say there's two, which I've, been thinking about and that I would love to have one day. First of which is the Aventador, which is a tricky one because you know I'm fully aware that it's not the best car out there, that the gearbox is crap, that the visibility is pretty bad, that it drinks crazy amounts of fuel, that it's really bad in town. I'm aware of all of that, but I've always admired that car so much. And the prices have come down a fair amount. 
and I'm kind of like, could that be something worth doing before the replacement comes out so that it doesn't look too outdated? Because maybe once the replacement comes out, that's suddenly going to look older like the Mercies do now. I mean, they still look great, but they do look a bit older. So that's one thing that's kind of been going around in my mind, but I, I, don't, I don't really see it happening in the very near future, to be completely honest, unless there's some sort of crazy deal that pops up. And the other car, now that I've kind of completely got in the Porsche bug, the 911 bug, is a GT3 RS. I love GT3 RSs now, and having this car has just made me kind of crave one so badly. So the question there is, you know, they've gone up a lot. GT, the GT3 market's kind of gone way up. So this is maybe not the best time to buy. Do I try and get a slot for a 992? If I could, I mean, that that's a no-brainer right there. Um, or do you just go for it and do 991.2? Um, I don't know. So those are the two cars that I'm constantly on um, Auto Scout, or I guess Auto Trader, as it's known in the UK, looking looking at. So yeah, those two I love so much, but honestly right now I'm just so happy with this car. It feels, I mean, I just feel so lucky to be able to drive in this a lot. So I'm in no rush right now, to be honest. How's your voice doing? Um, little context, I had a voice operation not too long ago in January and couldn't speak for a month. So it was like a month, a month and a half off YouTube. And it's doing a lot better. You can still hear it's quite raspy. I think I'm always gonna have this raspy voice. The operation went well because we didn't know you know what my voice would sound like when I came out of the operation and obviously you know doing a lot of YouTube and spending a lot of time on on like work calls and stuff it, you know that was a little bit worrying but so much worse has happened you know I was super lucky that the um, surgeon did an amazing job and I mean yeah so many people are in worse situations so I can't really complain about it and um, it's fragile for sure I do need to be careful about it you know I can't really go out and sing for hours with my friends and or you know I need to be careful to get enough rest or else my voice suffers from it so there's a few things but overall super positive operation went well and I'm feeling good and thanks for asking thoughts on the upcoming GT4 RS if you can get a slot it's the perfect scud replacement yeah you know the GT4 RS is going to be a sick car that is gonna be so cool. I mean, the GT4 is already holding the value nicely, especially PDKs. I think the RS will only be available in PDK. Um, it will look really cool. It's right around the corner. You know, I've asked, I haven't been able to get a slot. There may be ways to get slots for like other upcoming Porsches. And you know, is that the one that I would want the most? I don't really know. So I'm kind of gonna, I think I'm gonna wait it out on that one. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it'll be an amazing car and I might regret it loads, but GT4 RS would be a very good replacement for the Scud. I think it's going to be very expensive, to be honest. And even though Cayman may still be the best platform Porsche have made, if you think about it, you know, mid-engined and it's just such a nicely balanced car, it may even be a better platform than a 911, which is a bold statement, but, you know, it is kind of true. I still love 911s and the line of the 911s and the GT4 RS is going to be I mean really expensive I mean, the, the same price as a really nice 911 and I don't know if that would kind of block me spending that kind of money on a on a Cayman which is maybe completely just the wrong reason but there is a side of that I don't know do you guys have that as well when are you coming back to London um they're so complicated now uh with COVID and to be honest unless there's kind of a a, a big reason to do so. Um, I don't see myself going back in the very near future right now. At least there's no plans to. What would be your next objective slash goal? This is one I actually ask myself quite a bit. <laughs> and um, to be honest, there isn't really like a, you know, a certain project or a car or, um, you know, figures to get to. I mean, obviously you have goals in your head of what you want long term, but right now the main objective is I've just started a bunch of different projects and different things you've seen with the house etc and uh, I just want to stabilize all of that so right now the most direct goal is you know don't try and spread yourself too thin stabilize everything that's out there make sure everything's running like clockwork and then once it is everything's well put in place then look at spreading out even further so that's kind of I'd say the direct goal right now what is the Scuderia replacement gonna be there goes the front camera Anyways, this will be the last question. What will the Scuderia replacement be? Uh, this is recurring a ton all over Instagram. The 
honest answer is right now I don't have a scooter rear replacement in mind. As I mentioned, GT3 RS, Aventador, um, or any kind of really, you know, if someone comes up with a sick deal on a 765 LT or something like that, I mean, why not? Um, if, if there's a really good deal to be done in which I can be in an awesome car and for it to not be a terrible financial decision, why not? But right now, um, you know, I, I don't drive the scooter rear a lot at all. I'm really enjoying the turbo. Uh, I'm going to enjoy modifying the turbo and then enjoying the modified turbo. So there isn't really, I mean, there's no rush at least. So, you know, if you know of an awesome car deal, don't hesitate to send it, you know, to the email in the description or send it to me on Instagram, which will be on the screen now. But right now, I know it may be a disappointing answer for a lot of you, but the replacement for the Scud isn't planned. The replacement for the Scud, whenever that will sell, um, is to just enjoy the turbo and then eventually as we all know something will arrive i don't know what it will be but maybe an aventador maybe a gt3 rs or a good deal that could come along the way i think we're going to leave it there guy really enjoy these oh start stop Let's switch that straight off uh really really enjoy doing these kinds of videos and reading your questions and i have answered a bunch of them on instagram and i try not to dm so if ever yeah i really enjoy kind of chatting with you guys so shoot me a dm if ever there's anything that i missed in this video and I, i'll try and answer it on there but i uh, hope you're all doing well and let me switch the parking sensors off really convenient to have a button to do that uh, thanks for your support as always for watching the video if you've come this far in the video why not hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you aren't already you've made it to the end of the video and i really appreciate that thanks for watching i'll see you soon cheers guys Bye -bye.